Hi, World Tempest family. Thanks for joining us today while we explore the Chapek Antarctic uh, Automatic Mikroauto, which you may have already seen before with dials of dark blue, charcoal grey and also silver white. Now, it's also available with a salmon coloured dial and I know you guys love a salmon dial. There's also a light blue dial and these two versions really bring out the texture of the dial that you guys like so much. So let's switch over now the camera so we can get a good look at them. Right guys, I'm keeping my white gloves on today so as not to throw off the automatic light balance because the dial colours are particularly subtle and I want you guys to really get a good sense of what the true shades are like. So here they are side by side. Uh, this configuration is a mix of what we've seen previously. You have the dial decoration from the Drake Passage models which is a textured pattern that Chapek are calling the Stairway to Eternity. Here's, here it is, just a little more close up. It's done by uh, Comblemine, which is the dial factory owned by Cary Wouterlinen. So if you recognize a familiar touch in the approach to dial decoration, that's, that's the reason behind it. You also have the cleaner layout of the Terre Adelie models, the elongated hour models, the, the elongated hour markers, and the minimalistic minute track on the outer edge of the dial. So the bracelet, uh, you guys already know, with the polished C-Link that references the brand uh, initial. And this is getting to be pretty standard nowadays, the interchangeable bracelet that you can easily swap out when you want to change of strap. There's a special little tool that comes with the watch to help you to do this, but if you happen to have really tiny little hands like me, you can literally just do it with your fingertips. So I've done it on this one here, uh, the salmon dial version, so we can easily flip it over to check out the movement in detail. You guys will remember that this caliber, the SXH5, is the first to be conceived entirely in-house by Chapek from scratch. So they didn't just build on an existing movement or commission one from a movement maker. They were deeply involved in creating it from the beginning. The, uh, <laughs> the SXH5 is also very difficult to say quickly, so I won't re be referring to it by name from now on. The watch designation is automatic micro-roto, so that's what we'll point out first. You can see it right there. There you go. And you can see it's stamped on the micro-roto itself that it's in platinum. So as you know, that's very heavy, but it's a good thing in a winding rotor. It does a better job that way. What I really appreciate is that the platinum is, you can read it right there, it is 100% recycled. So, which I think is something that matters a lot to us today. So, now I'm not going to go into the intricacies of the regulating organ, because I've got an article all about regulators coming out soon, but just to say that I think the free sprung balance is a really nice touch. It's modern yet high end. Um, the high skeletonized bridges that you see over here, over all the movement, give a really architectural look to the movement. And there's a design connection with one of the previous watches in Chapik's collection, uh, as discussed in one of our previous videos, actually. So if you want to know more about it, you might want to just go ahead and check out our older articles about Chapik. The watchmaker Emmanuel Boucher was involved in the creation of the movement. You might have, a, you might have come across his brand or uh, you might remember his name from the Harry Winston Opus 12 watch. Parts manufacturing was done largely with Cronaud, which is the movement maker and component supplier led by Jean-Francois Monjon. Uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just dropping names now. Uh, the point is, this watch and this movement were made by people who really knew their stuff. So I'm going to turn the watch back around so you can enjoy the new dial colours just a little bit more. 
Thanks for staying with us through the video. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to World Temper's channel to see more content like this. See you guys soon.